Good evening. On behalf of the Oliver Ames High School Class of 2020, it is my honor as Class Vice President to welcome you to tonight's Class Night Ceremonies. Tonight's ceremony signifies great beginnings. Tonight, we celebrate the beginning of the end of our high school education, but we also catch a glimpse at the beginning of our futures. Tonight, we are recognized as students who have achieved success through hard work as we receive well-deserved scholarships and awards. Although tonight the senior class is honored in recognition of our great achievements, it is also important for the seniors to express our thanks and appreciation for all those who have helped us along the way. First, I would like to thank the Easton School Committee, our school administration, Mr. Paul, Mr. Flanagan, and Mrs. Queeley, as well as all of our wonderful counselors and teachers, both in and out of the classroom. Thank you for always showing support and providing guidance to help us find success and enjoyment in everything we did here at Oliver Ames. Second, I would like to thank our parents. You always kept our best interests at heart as we forged our own paths through high school while making sure we had everything we needed to succeed. And finally, I would like to thank my fellow classmates in the class of 2020. Thank you for all of your hard work, dedication, and thank you for all the memories we shared at our time at Oliver Ames High School. Once again, I thank you all for coming and please enjoy the evening. Well, class of 2020, here we are. Who would have thought our freshman year that the words social distance and flattening the curve would become everyday vocabulary for the conclusion of our high school experience? While it may seem that the history of our class has been cut short, it's important to remember all the memories from these past four years. We entered as confused 15-year-olds, wondering why Ed Garrity was telling us to make a dream board. And now we stand four years later with those dreams all beginning to come true. 2016 was definitely one for the books, we jammed out to songs like Humble or Bad and Bougie, and we participated in the Mannequin Challenge and the Running Man Challenge, which we forced all of our classes to partake in with the hopes we'd go viral on Instagram. We set our sights on Harry Potter as a holiday theme, and boy, did our hall need a little magic. Apart from the brick tapestry that carried our hallway, our last minute crafting skills and thrown together party decorations had left much to be desired. But one thing was clear, the spirit of 2020 was just beginning to flourish. Soon enough, April had come, and it was time for the highly anticipated freshman dinner dance, where with the help of the Chinese foreign exchange students, we were able to juju and dab out our freshman year together. Then sophomore year hit, and our class started off strong. Determined to redeem ourselves from the Harry Potter horror show, we made our decades hallway one that was truly unforgettable, even though we were definitely robbed of a first place win. After capitalizing on more bake sales than I can count, soon enough, our sophomore semi had arrived, and with the help of Nick's light setup and some killer party city decorations and good snacks, those cheese balls are still in Miss Hines' room, by the way, we were all able to make the OA cafeteria 
a Hollywood dream. We closed the night off in a massive dance circle, swaying to the song, Closing Time. But the 2020 grind did not stop there. To kick off the summer, we hosted our first ever class car wash. And while our scrubbing jobs weren't the best, six hours in the baking sun proved that the drive of 2020 was unmatched. Flash forward to our junior year, the year of AP classes and a prom hanging over our heads. We again capitalized on classroom hunger by selling Hilliard's bars and ran a few more bake sales. Um, we even ran one on election day because what's more democratic than a brownie made by Jess Roa? In the spirit of the holidays, we chose the theme The Four Seasons for our hall, and we came in third. But we were able to redeem ourselves by overpowering the seniors in just about every pep rally event. This year, our grade got a little adventurous with the fundraising efforts. We sold t-shirts and hand-me-down phone wallets from the class of 2018, which ironically outsold the t-shirts. And we ended the year together at Lombardo's, where everyone's dresses and the bright chandelier masked over the bone-dry chicken. We ran another car wash at the beginning of summer, and finally, our senior year had come. Well, where do I start with this year? I think it's safe to say the energy of our senior year was unlike any year before it. We were all just a little closer, counting down the days until we'd have to say goodbye. Once again, we dominated the pep rally tug of war, knockout, the wheelbarrow race, history trivia, the hula hoop competition, powder puff, and ultimately all of spirit week. Um, honorarily, we also won the dance competition, and Kara, I think I speak for the class when I say that you won. Oh, and we also maintained our third place average in hall day, so that's a plus. This year, we also got to see the, most, the musical talent of Harrison Webster and the comedic genius of Hunter Costello in the Mr. Easton competition. We congratulated Nation, the new governor of OA, and we were all able to race for our stars on Star Day one final time. Finally, we were able to make every teacher sob with our class video, which 170 of us partook in from our homes. Although we might not be ending the year in Newport, there are certainly big things ahead for each and every one of us, even if they have to be six feet apart. We might not have gotten the ideal conclusion to our senior year, but underneath the layers of the past four years, we've gotten much more, a family. In the wise words of Winnie the Pooh, how lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Thank you, 2020. It has become the tradition that we start our class night awards ceremony with the Colleen Brophy Spirit Award. The spirit Colleen possessed as a student was exemplary and touched many individuals, students, their families, and faculty. Her attitude and enthusiasm for all of Rames and all those associated with it was profound and forms the basis for this award. It is the intent of the founders of this award and the Brophy family that spirit be recognized in the awarding of the scholarship. The award will not be granted solely as a result of academic merit, nor athletic achievement, nor by popularity among the faculty. The recipient shall think of others before thinking of self and show enthusiasm for loving life and helping others to enjoy it, just as Colleen Brophy did. This year's recipient is Aaron Holmberg. Aaron, who will be attending the University of New Hampshire, <clears throat> is also a recipient of the Eastern Recreational Basketball League Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Basketball Booster Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Soccer Booster Scholarship, and the Patrick J. Brennan Memorial Scholarship. Pat was a passionate educator for over 35 years, a coach in the Oliver Ames basketball program. He worked with the youth of Easton for over 12 years, touching the lives of so many young people in the community. He saw the best in each young player, and he would help believe in their strongest qualities as young athletes and young people. Anyone who was fortunate enough to play for Pat knew that above all, he wanted to have, have, let them have fun. Pat placed a value on doing the right thing even when, no one, when, the most, when it was not the most popular thing to do. He was fond of saying, character is who you are when no one is watching. Tonight, Aaron is also receiving the Christine M. Lober Memorial Scholarship. Christine was a 1987 graduate of Oliver Ames High School where she played soccer and basketball. And she was known for her friendly personality, 
concern for others, and beautiful smile. After completing undergraduate studies at the University of New Hampshire, Christine earned her master's in social work from Boston College and devoted herself to serving veterans with PTSD. The Christine M. Lober Memorial Scholarship was created to commemorate and honor Christine's joyful, generous spirit and dedication to the less fortunate. Erin is also a recipient of the Jim Hanley Memorial Scholarship. The scholarship is given by the Easton Youth Soccer League in memory of Jim Hanley, who passed away in February of 2012. This scholarship will be awarded to an Oliver Ames senior, and it will be someone that has demonstrated courage and commitment in a time of adversity. Finally, tonight, Aaron is a recipient of a Drummy Family Soccer Scholarship. This scholarship is given in honor of the Drummy Family for their dedication over the years to the Easton community. This scholarship rec recognizes athletes that have demonstrated their high character through being a role model on his or her team, standing out as a leader by the quality of his or her actions, courage to make tough decisions, compassion to listen to the needs of others, enthusiasm for team members, respect for their sport, his or her teammates, coaches, referees, and opponents. Congratulations, Aaron. Also receiving a Drummy Family Soccer Scholarship tonight is Joshua Labras, who will be attending Merrimack, Merrimack College. Congratulations, Joshua. The Susan A. French Scholarship and the Catherine Hobart Ames Memorial Scholarship are awarded to the class valedictorian of Oliver Ames. These awards recognize academic excellence and help to support the recipient's college education. This year's recipient is Jessica Roa. Jessica will be attending Brown University. Jessica is also a recipient of a National Honor Society Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Swim and Dive Booster Scholarship, and an Eastern Women of Today Scholarship. Eastern Women of Today, founded in 1997, is a community-based volunteer group who conduct fundraising, community service, and member socials. Our mission is assisting individuals, organizations, and families in need to strengthen our community. And this is awarded and is awarding this scholarship to a senior who exemplifies this mission. Jessica is also a recipient of the Valerie A. and Ray J. Emerson Memorial Scholarship, given in their memory and awarded to a student pursuing the medical field. Jessica is also a recipient of the E.R. Laird Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a student in the top 10% of their class or was voted and was voted into office for a school activity. Jessica is also a recipient of a Leaders of Tomorrow Scholarship. This scholarship is given to Oliver Ames students who demonstrate a love of Oliver Ames and the Eastern community. These well-rounded students should have a blend of academic, athletic, and school activity club achievement. Jessica is also a recipient of an Eastern Lions Club Scholarship, which is awarded to the children of Eastern residents who demonstrated leadership in providing service to their community. Finally tonight, Jessica is a recipient of an Alice M. Maine Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in memory of Alice Maine, a former Eastern resident, and is awarded to a student on the basis of academic achievement and service within the community. Congratulations, Jessica. The Parker Ames Scholarship is awarded to the class salutatorian of Oliver Ames. This award recognizes academic excellence and helps to support the recipient's college education. This year's recipient is Sarah Barron. Sarah will be attending Bentley University and is also a recipient of an Art Department Book Award. Congratulations, Sarah. Additional recipients tonight of the Valerie A. and Ray J. Emerson Memorial Scholarship are Jordan Bossy and Olivia Durant. Olivia will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Congratulations, Olivia. Jordan, who will be attending Fairfield University, is also a recipient of an Oliver Ames Volleyball Boosters Scholarship, a National Honor Society Scholarship, and a Marion Musto Hugs to Community Service Scholarship. The Eastern Chapter of Hugs, Help Us Get Safe, emphasizes community activities that promote safety awareness. Marion Musto, who was a beloved member of Hugs and passed away in August of 2006. Marianne emphasized volunteerism and was a member of the executive board. Through the naming of this scholarship in her memory, we hope to honor Marianne's commitment to community service for years to come. Jordan is also a recipient of the Richard Bear Mathers Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given by the Knights of Columbus in memory, in memory of Richard Bear Mathers, who passed away on April 8, 2013. Richard was a man with many friends, all who love and miss him. Among the considerations for this scholarship 
is a commitment to share with and give of self to others. Jordan is also a recipient of the Nick Giuseppe Lombardi Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was established by Nick's father, Joe, and his stepmother, Ellie Lombardi, in his memory. Nick was a 2009 graduate of Olive Rams High School who tragically passed away on April 29, 2018, at the age of 26, from a motorcycle accident. Nick is remembered fondly by many that knew him as one who cared deeply for others and for his love for the outdoors. Nick graduated from Brockton Hospital School of Nursing and was employed as an RN in the ER at Kearney Hospital. He made everyone around him feel special. Nick had a huge smile and an even bigger heart. Jordan is also a recipient of a Ruth V. Rye Memorial Scholarship. Ruth was born in Easton on Elm Street to Swedish immigrant parents. She attended the Easton Public Schools and was involved in sports in her youth. Upon graduating from Olive Rams High School, she pursued a career as a bookkeeper. Ruth was a lifelong volunteer and believed in serving her community in any way she could. During World War II, she volunteered at Camp Miles Standish in Taunton, where many American soldiers processed before they left to fight overseas. She was involved in teaching children in Sunday school at Holy Trinity Lutheran Church, serving as the church's school superintendent for many years. She also became involved with the Brownies and Girl Scouts as her daughters participated and served as a leader both in Easton and in the state for the Rainbow Girls. Throughout her life in Easton, Ruth generously gave of her time to other community organizations, including the Easton Historical Society, the Lions Club, and Meals on Wheels. In addition to her life of service, one of her greatest attributes was her steadfast support of the underdog. She felt many people who had challenges in their lives would surprise you with their hard work, intellect, and creativity if you gave them a chance. Finally, Jordan is a recipient of the Michael F. McGuire Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is established in memory of Michael McGuire, who was a graduate of Oliver Ames High School in 1967. Mike was struck with polio at the age of five and was physically handicapped throughout the duration of his life. Despite this, he never let this disability stand in his way. During his time at OA, he served as manager for the football, baseball, and basketball teams. After graduation, Mike attended Bridgewater State and led a career as a social worker while raising a family. He will be remembered as, a, as someone who is always able to persevere through difficult times. Congratulations, Jordan. Additional recipients of the Leaders of Tomorrow Scholarship include Abigail Hodges, Alexander Manthouse, Grace O'Leary, and Margaret Plant. Abigail Hodges, who will be attending Worcester Polytechnic Institute, is also a recipient of an Oliver Ames Soccer Booster Scholarship, an Eastern Youth Soccer League Scholarship, and the Northeastern Savings Bank Scholarship. Congratulations, Abigail. Alexander Manthaus, who will be attending the University of Michigan, is also the recipient of a Math Department Book Award, the Easton Chamber of Commerce Scholarship, and an Easton Moms Club Scholarship. This scholarship is intended to assist a student who is aligned with Moms Club values, which are community, peer support, and volunteerism, and demonstrate a strong work ethic. Finally, Alexander is a recipient of the American Legion George S. Shepard Post-7 Scholarship. This scholarship is intended to recognize continuing academic excellence, civic involvement, and a level of conduct which best reflects the ideals of the American Legion. Congratulations, Alexander. Grace O'Leary, who will be attending Merrimack College, is also a recipient of the Ruth V. Rye Memorial Scholarship and a Miss Piesco Looping Scholarship. This scholarship is in memory of Mark Rogers, who was a student in Miss Piesco's first looping class and always demonstrated kindness and compassion to others. Applicant should be a former student of Ms. Piesco's class. Grace is also a recipient of a Paul Anthony Popolo Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in memory of Paul Anthony Popolo by his family to honor his life. Besides his family, Paul's passion was volunteerism. Paul was a quintessential good guy, incredibly humble, kind, and gentle, always offering to help in any way. Not looking for recognition, Paul gave him himself freely throughout his time through his time, talent, and treasures. Paul made Easton his home for almost 33 years, and he loved this community with all of his heart, changing his allegiance from the Walpole Rebels blue and orange to Easton and Oliver Ames Tigers black and orange. Paul's quiet, gentle, strong, and loyal presence was known throughout the town, whether through his profession as a self-employed master craftsman, carpenter, and builder, or as what became his second profession, a community volunteer, no matter the organization. Paul loved coaching his boys in sports, baseball, basketball, football, or soccer. 
This scholarship will be awarded to a graduating Oliver M. Sr. who has shown strength of character through these qualities of honesty, integrity, kindness, loyalty, as well as community volunteerism. Even in the face of life-altering illness, Paul's mantra was, every day is a good day. Congratulations, Grace. Margaret Plant, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst, is also a recipient of a Richard Bear Mathers Memorial Scholarship, an American Leisure George S. Shepard Post 7 Scholarship, a Ruth V. Rye Memorial Scholarship, and the Good Citizen Award. And she is also receiving an Oliver Ames Stucco Scholarship. The vision of Oliver Ames High School Student Council is to be a model of kindness, inclusiveness, spirit, and service in our school and community. O.A. Stucco would like to award a scholarship to a graduating senior who, in word and deed, have reflected the vision of the council throughout their high school experience. Finally, Margaret is the recipient of an Andrew Miller Jr. Scholarship. Andrew Miller Jr., an Easton native, graduated from Oliver Ames High School in 1952. Later, he served in the Easton school system for 23 years. He began his career in the Easton school system as assistant superintendent and then became the principal of the Olmsted School. He was a founding member of the New England League of Middle Schools. Congratulations, Maggie. Additional recipients tonight of an Easton Women of Today scholarship are Catherine Fleming, Jackson Keller, and Alexandra Ziss. Catherine Fleming, who will be attending Bentley University, is also a recipient of a Richard Bear Mathers Memorial Scholarship and an Alyssa Lauren Trenholm Memorial Scholarship. This fund is established in the memory of Alyssa, class of 1989, and her full speed ahead spirit. She was always learning and sampling life to its fullest. She was studying Spanish and computer science at Boston University. In order to finish her education, learn computers, and expand her bilingual understandings at its source, she enlisted in the US Navy. Although determined in spirit, her heart failed, stopping her well short of her goal. Her parents and friends hoped to keep her spirit alive through this award. Congratulations, Catherine. Jackson Keller will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst is also a recipient of an Easton Mom Scholarship and an Oliver Ames Football Booster Scholarship, a Ruth V. Rye Memorial Scholarship, and an Oliver Ames Tiger Scholarship. Five Oliver Ames Tiger Scholarships are awarded annually in different categories. Jackson is being recognized for his athletic achievements. Congratulations, Jackson. Additional recipients tonight of an Easton Women of Today Scholarship are Catherine Fleming, Jackson Keller, and Alexandra Ziss. Catherine Fleming, who will be attending Bentley University, is also a recipient of a Richard Bear Mathers Memorial Scholarship and an Alyssa Lauren Trenholm Memorial Scholarship. This fund is established in, the mem in memory of Alyssa, class of 1989, and her full speed ahead spirit. She was always learning and sampling life to its fullest. She was studying Spanish and computer science at Boston University in order to finish her education, learn computers, and expand her bilingual understandings at its source. She enlisted in the US Navy, Although determined in spirit, her heart failed, stopping her well short of her goal. Her parents and friends hope to keep her spirit alive through this award. Congratulations, Catherine. Jackson Keller, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst, is also a recipient of the Easton Moms Club Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Football Booster Scholarship, a Ruth V. Rye Memorial Scholarship, and a uh, Scoreboard Enterprise Scholarship. This scholarship is given by Scoreboard Enterprises, a company owned by Mr. Chuck Hurley, Easton resident and former mathematics teacher here at Oliver Ames High School. Congratulations, Jackson. Alexander Ziss, who will be attending Tulane University, is also the recipient of an Oaks Ames Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Alexandra. Additional recipients tonight of the Lions Club Scholarship are Stephanie Badrin, Aaron Conley, who will be attending the University of Maryland, Hunter Costello, and Abigail Holmes. Stephanie Badrin, who will be attending Boston College, is also the recipient of an Alice M. Maine Memorial Scholarship, an Oaks Ames Scholarship, a World Languages Book Award for Spanish, and an Oliver Ames Stucco Scholarship. She is also receiving a Colton Koo Scholarship. The Colton, Colton Koo Scholarship supports, encourages, and celebrates diversity and young leaders of Easton and is awarded to a student who has demonstrated a compelling story of direct or indirect challenges regarding tolerance and acceptance. Stephanie is also a recipient of the VFW Private George F. Schindler Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded annually by Post 
2547 and the Ladies Auxiliary of the Veterans of Foreign War to a member of the graduating class. Finally, Stephanie is also a recipient of an Erica Gillian Fould Memorial Scholarship. Erica Gillian Fould was a talented writer and voracious reader. Her love of English language is evident in her wry and insightful use of words to express humor, pain, and beauty through both poetry and prose. Unfl unflinchingly loyal to her family and friends, Erica always stood up for the causes of and people in whom she believed. Following Erica's sudden passing in 2016, her extended community came together to establish this scholarship to ensure that Erica's unique legacy would live on at Oliver Ames High School. Congratulations, Stephanie. Hunter Costello, who will be attending Bentley University, is also a recipient of the Alice M. Main Memorial Scholarship, a Paul Anthony Popolo Memorial Scholarship, and an Oliver Ames Lacrosse Booster Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Hockey Booster Scholarship, and a D.J. Henry Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is in memory of Danroy D.J. Henry, who died in 2010. D.J. was a member of the class of 2007 and was a lover of all sports and enjoyed playing soccer, football, basketball, and running track. DJ wasn't always the best athlete on the field, but he was dedicated to always giving his best. DJ was a quiet leader and always willing to lend a hand. This scholarship will be awarded to a student who participated in intramural or high school sports. The student must also exhibit DJ's love of sports, genuine, gentle spirit, and, a, and DJ's commitment to his team, family, and friends. Hunter is also a recipient of a Joan Tepper Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given by the Kagan and Tepper families uh, to honor the memory of Joan Tepper, who passed away in January of 2013. Joan was the beloved mother of three children and Nana to seven grandchildren. One of her favorite ways to spend her time was to watch her grandchildren's sporting events. Whether it was football, basketball, or baseball, she was always there to cheer on her grandchildren. Joan was also an Eastern resident for 42 years and the owner of Jamie's Place, a local children's boutique. Hunter is also a recipient of the Walter and Kathleen Gallagher Scholarship. This scholarship was established in 2003 to honor the dedicated service of Walter and Kathleen Gallagher um, that, who have given towards the OA hockey program for the past 33 years. They were instrumental in starting the OA hockey boosters in 1979, with Walter being the first president. Walter and Kathleen had a son playing for the OA varsity hockey team for 16 consecutive years from 1974 to 1990. Congratulations, Hunter. Abigail Holmes, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst, is also the recipient of an Oaks Ames Scholarship and an Oliver Ames Softball Booster Scholarship. Congratulations, Abigail. Tonight's recipient of the Lions Club Presidential Service Award is Madeline Peckham, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Madeline is also a recipient of the Oaks Ames Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Madeline. Tonight's recipient of the Lions Club Veronica Lamb Memorial Service Award is Samuel Stevens. Samuel will be attending the University of Maryland, is also a recipient of an Oaks Ames Memorial Scholarship, an Easton Tiger Youth Football and Cheer Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Football Cheer Booster Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Football Booster Scholarship, and an Oliver Ames Lacrosse Booster Scholarship, and last but certainly not least, the Edward M. Duggan III Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given by family members and friends in loving memory of Edward M. Ted Duggan III, who died tragically in the summer of 2003. Throughout his life, Ted loved sports, both playing them and watching them. While he may not have been the strongest player on the team, he could always be counted on to give his best effort for the good of the team. During Ted's life, his participation in some sports was hindered by a heart condition that he lived with from birth. However, this did not slow him down. He threw himself into every sport he could play, and he always had a great time doing it. Most of his friends were not aware of his health issues because he never complained about them. Through his participation on sports teams in Easton and throughout school, Ted came to enjoy friendships of many. He demonstrated the qualities of kindness and loyalty to his many friends. Congratulations, Sam. Another recipient of the Hugs to Community Service Scholarship is Lila Rose. Lila, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst, is a recipient of an Oaks Ames Scholarship and an Alfred and Martha Gomes Family Scholarship. Both Alfred and Martha Gomes grew up in Easton and graduated from OAHS, as have their nine children. Lila is also a recipient of the Alexander Alley Hamilton Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given by family and friends in memory of Allie Hamilton, who tragically passed away at the age of 22 in 2013. 
Allie was a member of the Oliver Ames class of 2009. Throughout her life, she had a love for children and a passion for sports. She was enrolled in college, majoring in criminal justice, and planned to work with children or troubled teens. Allie had always strived to make a difference by helping others before helping herself. Allie was passionate about sports, both playing them and watching them. Her favorite sport was basketball, but, all, but she enjoyed watching them all. Allie's competitiveness and enthusiasm was always displayed, whether playing with her teammates or just watching sports with family. Congratulations, Lila. The final recipient of an Alice M. Maine Memorial Scholarship is Rory McLaughlin. Rory, who will be attending the College of the Holy Cross, is a recipient of an Edward M. Duggan III Memorial Scholarship, a Paul Anthony Popolo Memorial Scholarship, an Easton Educators Association Scholarship, an Easton Youth Baseball League Scholarship, a Moreau Hall Scholarship, a Cross Country Booster Scholarship, a Social Studies Department Book Award, and a Larry Par III Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is, is given in memory of Larry Par III, OA's own super fan and longtime supporter of Oliver Ames community. His commitment through the years of, to students, coaches, parents, and administrators will forever be remembered. This memorial scholarship is awarded to a senior who exhibits a love for Oliver Ames and the Eastern community. It is of sound character. This student should demonstrate compassion, kindness, and dedication to school and community, as well as fellow students. Rory is also a recipient of the Eastern Democratic Town Committee Scholarship in memory of Robert J. Kane. The Eastern Democratic Town Committee Scholarship shall be given to a graduating senior who has demonstrated ongoing academic achievement during their high school career. In addition, the ideal candidate will have been involved in extracurricular activities, be a registered Democrat, and show continued political and community involvement. Congratulations, Rory. Additional recipients of the Richard Bear Mathers Memorial Scholarship are Jared Charon, Anthony DaCosta, Christopher Gallus, Gabriella Gabato, and Robert McCarthy. Jared, who will be attending North Bennett Street School, is also a recipient of an Oliver Ames Tiger Scholarship for his pursuit of a vocation, a Paul Anthony Popolo Memorial Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Rugby Booster Scholarship, and a World War Memorial Vocational Grant, which is awarded to a student who plans to enter a vocational field. Congratulations, Jared. Anthony DaCosta, who will be attending the Massachusetts Maritime Academy is also a recipient of an Oliver Ames Football Booster Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Track and Field Booster Scholarship, and a David P. Bullman Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in memory of David Bullman, who was a 1998 graduate of Oliver Ames High School. He was co-captain of football during his senior year, a three-year varsity basketball player, and a letter winner in track. David was very interested in conservation and enjoyed fishing and the outdoors. David died tragically in a fire during his freshman year at Salve Regina College in Newport, Rhode Island. David's generous spirit of friendship touched many during his 19 years of life. He always showed compassion, kindness, and loyalty to his fellow students and teammates. David took the time to help others be aware of their own specialness and individualism. David was a big person with big arms to protect and encircle everyone. When David was around, no one was left out and people valued people. Congratulations, Anthony. Christopher Gallus, who will be attending Ithaca College, is also the recipient of a Tempo Scholarship. Tempo is an organization that thrives on raising funds for the Easton Music Department and volunteering at events. This scholarship will be offered to students who have participated in musical activities during their time in the Easton Public Schools. Congratulations, Christopher. Gabriella Gibato, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Dartman, is also a recipient of a Paul Anthony Popolo Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Gabriella. Robert McCarthy, who will be attending Emory-Riddle Aeronautical University, is also a recipient of the Eric A. Davis Memorial Scholarship. These scholarships are established in loving memory of Eric A. Davis by his family. Eric was a young man who favored self-motivation and hard work. Even at a young age, he was always, always tried to help those less fortunate. Although Eric did not live long enough to attend Oliver Ames, he would, have made, it would have made him very happy to know that someone who may have had difficulty in their own life overcame it and were able to achieve their goals with his help. Robert is also a recipient of a Nicholas Anthony Farley Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given to honor and celebrate the life of Nick Farley, a beloved son, brother, friend, and leader who lived a life of love and devotion toward family, friends, and the countless people whom he encountered along the way. Nick's compassion, his sense of humor, his honesty, his strength of character, his and ever-present smile are only some of the qualities that combine to make him a truly great young man. These qualities will serve to define what this scholarship is all about. 
While in his senior year at Oliver Ames High School, Nick's peers recognized his versatility, skills, determination, and they voted him as most likely to change the world. Although Nick is no longer with us, this does not mean that he can no longer affect change. A naturally talented athlete, Nick played varsity soccer, basketball, and track and field throughout his high school years and was named captain of both the basketball team and the track and field team. During his time at OA, Nick maintained a 3.0 GPA and went on to UMass Boston where he majored in history and was on the Dean's List. These achievements were not easily attained. Diagnosed with dyslexia, Nick temporarily left the Easton schools and attended the Carroll School for remediation of his language disability. While at the Carroll School, he was recognized by faculty for his perseverance and intellectual inquisitiveness. Likewise, the Carroll Athletic Department honored him as an Athlete of the Year. This memorial scholarship will be awarded to a graduating Oliver Ames High School senior who is a varsity athlete. Congratulations, Robert. An additional recipient tonight of an Eric A. Davis Memorial Scholarship is Sarah Blumwald. Sarah will be attending Worcester State University. Congratulations, Sarah. An additional recipient tonight of a Paul Anthony Poplow Memorial Scholarship is Lindsay Crager. Lindsay will be attending Stonehill College. Congratulations, Lindsay. Our final recipients tonight of the American Legion George F. Shepard Post 7 Scholarship are Joseph Ferguson and Thomas DeFeo Gelman. Joseph, who will be attending Southeastern Technical Institute, is also a recipient of an Oliver Ames Rugby Booster Scholarship and the Buddy Richard Memorial Scholarship. This memorial scholarship will be awarded to a graduating Oliver Ames High School senior who plans to pursue further education at the collegiate or technical career levels and is of good citizenship and sound character. Congratulations, Joe. Thomas, who will be attending Bridgewater State University, is also a recipient of an Oliver Ames Robotic Boosters Scholarship. Congratulations, Thomas. An additional recipient tonight of an Oliver Ames Robotics Booster Scholarship is Nathan O'Reilly Juarez. Nathan will be attending Berkeley College of Music. Congratulations, Nathan. Additional recipients tonight of a Nicholas Anthony Farley Memorial Scholarship are Nicholas J. Farley, Kara Ostrander, who will be attending Southern New Hampshire University, Morgan O'Hare, and Lauren Picanzi, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Nicholas J. Farley, who will be attending Westfield State University, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Rugby Booster Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Swim and Die Booster Scholarship, and an Oliver Ames Soccer Booster Scholarship. Congratulations, Nicholas. Morgan O'Hare, who will be attending Central Connecticut State University, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Swim and Die Booster Scholarship. Congratulations, Morgan. Before I invite Dr. Cabral to the podium to continue our class night awards ceremony, I wish to congratulate all of tonight's scholarship and award recipients and thank the many families and businesses that contributed hundreds of thousands of dollars to make, to make tonight possible. This money invested in the lives of our graduates makes a tremendous difference in their future success. And on behalf of, behalf of our graduates, I thank you. While I have the microphone, I would like to take this opportunity to address the class of 2020 for one last time. Thank you. I need to begin with a heartfelt thank you. For the past 21 years, I've addressed each class here at OA, but never before have I felt so compelled to thank a class like I feel for you. In the face of the pandemic, you rose up to this challenge. Thank you for showing grace and compassion as traditional milestones and celebrations were canceled or converted to a virtual experience like this evening. You faithfully participated in Google meetings every day, and I know you grew tired of them. Thank you for engaging. Thank you for your grit and determination to stay connected as a class and to persevere towards a successful completion of an amazing 12-year run in the Eastern Public Schools. I am proud of you and celebrate with you the personal accomplishments each of you made throughout your four years at OA. These personal accomplishments, joined together with your classmates' accomplishments and triumphs, brought great pride to your families, our school, and this great town. You have a special place in my heart for many reasons. I have enjoyed getting to know you and quite frankly, I will miss you next year, perhaps more than any other class I have said goodbye to. The reason for this is because we have not had the same kind of closure. Instead of finishing the year with celebratory events, we have had to wrestle with life as a high school senior and COVID-19. And it has not been easy. But you have met this challenge and adapted to everything that has unfolded. Adaptability is a life skill that will serve you well. As I said before, I have loved our time together and we have experienced a lot along the way. Your contagious smiles, nods of the head, and laughter in the hallways, classrooms, cafeteria, areas where you perform, 
were a blessing to me on a daily basis. Your work ethic and academic pursuits, music, sports, student government, and all of our clubs and organizations are a legacy for others to follow. I am overwhelmed with pride and deep appreciation. When people ask me what it makes Oliver Ames High School so special, I talk about you. I proudly boast about your cohesiveness, your care and concern for one another, your talents that you work on and share, your desire to succeed and reach your full potential in all you do. Despite what has been taken from you in this pandemic, you have left a lasting impression on Oliver Ames High School and the town of Easton. The class of 2020 is the epitome of all that is good with the young adults of our world. More than ever, we need you to go on from here with the skills and knowledge you have gained and fix that which is not working. It is unfortunate that there is much that is not working as it should. I am confident that you will be part of the solution to many of society's problems. You have that strong combination of intellectual ability, adaptability, respect, grit, determination, and above all, kindness. And such a combination is unstoppable. I encourage you to go forth and make our world a place you want for your children and grandchildren. Go forth and maintain a nourished relationships with your family and friends. For without meaningful relationships, relationships that you tend to and make a priority, you miss out on a life fully lived. As you go forth, remember all the wonderful experiences of your high school years and don't focus on that which was lost. Let me just pause for one second. Except when you're a parent and your kid starts to complain about how life is unfair, I'm pretty sure at that point in time, it's gonna be okay for you to say, well, you know what, you need to toughen up, Buttercup. You can then go on and tell them about everything that happened this spring of your senior year. You should know you are prepared to leave and you are one of those classes that stands out in our school's history. I am forever grateful to have served as your principal. In closing, I remind you of one of the first messages I gave you when you entered OA in September of 2016. What you have faced recently really makes this message at the end make sense. Shake it off and step up, a parable of a farmer who owned an old mule. The old mule fell into the farmer's well. The farmer heard the mule braying, or whatever mules do when they fall into wells. After carefully assessing the situation, the farmer sympathized with the mule, but decided that neither the mule nor the well was worth the trouble of saving. Instead, he called his neighbors together and told them what had happened, enlisted them to help haul dirt to bury the old mule in the well and put him out of his misery. Initially, the old mule was hysterical, but as the farmer and his neighbors continued shoveling and the dirt hit his back, a thought struck him. It suddenly dawned on him that every time a shovel load of dirt landed on his back, he should shake it off and step up. This he did, blow after blow, shake it off, step up, shake it off, step up. He kept repeating himself to encourage himself, no matter how painful the blows or distressing the situation. The old mule fought panic and just kept on shaking it off and stepping up. And you're right, it wasn't long before that old mule, battered and exhausted, stepped triumphantly over that well wall. What seemed like it would actually bury him, blessed him, all because of the manner in which he handled it. That's life. If we face our problems and respond to them positively and refuse to give in to panic, bitterness, or self-pity, the adversities that come along to bury us usually have within them the potential to benefit and bless us. Class of 2020, you are loved and I will miss you. You are ready to make your mark on this world and we will all be here cheering you on. Congratulations.
拜拜。Hello, I'm Dr. Alicia Cabral, Superintendent of Schools. I will echo all of Mr. Paul's sentiments and then some. Um, it has been truly challenging, but again, it's what is making you uh, more exceptional than you already were. I would like to, uh, before I begin reading the awards, just call to your attention one thing that you're not seeing this evening, and that is the group that's generally sitting behind us. I want you to try to visualize that and listen very carefully to the awards that I'm going to be reading about. The reason is that what you would usually see is that <clears throat> this is a very emotional event for a lot of reasons, but the awards that are being given out tonight are, in general, given in the name of someone that has been lost, a beloved family member, or a friend or a student that possess some qualities or an organization that has built itself upon some very important principles and morals. And collectively, those people, whether they sat around a table or in a boardroom or on Zoom, they discussed you in particular. And they determined that you possess the qualities and traits of someone that's very, very dear to them. And typically I ask you to take a look at their faces and see the combination of pride that they have and, and the sense of honor that they're giving to their family member, but also a pride in you. And I think it's really important that you take a minute to reflect not only on the wonderful, generous, scholarships that you received for your academic, athletic, creative achievements, but also the fact that they are honoring you in a very special way. They feel as though you are an embodiment of something very special to them and that they believe you're gonna carry forth that spirit into the world. So as we tell you we're proud of you and as your parents tell you they're proud of you, I hope that you remember to be especially proud of yourself because um, I think you'll hear in the words that you've heard already and you'll continue to hear throughout the presentation, they're saying something very special about you. So please take the moment to appreciate that in yourself. And so when we say congratulations to you, it's a deep and sincere congratulations for all that you are and all that you have achieved. The Joseph M. Kamara Memorial Scholarship is available to all senior hockey players or managers and graduated hockey players and managers who are continuing to further their education. This year's recipient is Jake Gottwald. Jake, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst, is also the recipient of a Walter and Kathleen Gallagher Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Lacrosse Booster Scholarship, an Easton Youth, Youth Baseball League Scholarship, and a Brian J. Prey Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given to honor and celebrate the life of Brian Prey. He passed away in December of 2014. Brian was a kind, compassionate, and loving person who could light up a room with his smile. He enjoyed bringing joy and happiness to others. Brian graduated from OAHS in the year 2000, and some of his happiest days in high school were spent working with sp students through the special education department. Brian enjoyed volunteering and loved being a friend as well as a mentor to the students. The Brian J. Prey Memorial Scholarship will be award awarded to graduating seniors who have consistently worked with students through the Project Opportunity Program or have been actively involved in the Best Buddies Club. The Linda A. Flanagan Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of Linda A. Flanagan. She was a devoted mother and resident of Easton. 
The applicant must be a member of the graduating class who has plans to continue his or her education in a four-year college and who has good character, financial need, and a balanced interest in academics and extracurricular activities. This year's recipient is Noah Ramos. Noah will be attending the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth. The Haley Kramer Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of Haley Kramer, a 2012 graduate of Sharon High School. Haley was tragically killed on Father's Day, June 15, 2014, by a reckless driver. At the time of her death, Haley was a junior at Simmons College, continuing her studies in the Doctor of Physical Therapy program. Haley is remembered by all that knew her as one who cared deeply for others. She was known for her optimism, love of life, and passion for worthy causes. Applicants for this scholarship must be planning to pursue their studies in physical therapy, athletic training, or the health sciences. Special consideration will be given to those who exemplify Haley's core values of compassion, kindness, and helping others through altruistic acts such as community service and volunteerism. The award winner will exemplify, in his or her own way, Haley's spirit of doing unto others. This year's recipient is Chloe Costa. Chloe will be attending the Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. Our final recipients tonight of the Ruth V. Rye Memorial Scholarship are Matthew Noselec and Christina O'Neill. Christina, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Boston, is also the recipient of a DJ Henry Memorial Scholarship. Matthew, who will be attending Syracuse University, is also the recipient of an Easton Youth Baseball League Scholarship, an Easton Youth Soccer League Scholarship, a Walter and Kathleen Gallagher Memorial Scholarship, an Oaks Ames Memorial Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Soccer Boosters Scholarship, and a Jim Achillian Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in memory of Jim Achillian by a friend to an Oliver Ames High School graduating student who demonstrates leadership and sportsmanship. Our final recipient tonight of a DJ Henry Memorial Scholarship is Megan Holleran. Megan, who will be attending Endicott College, is also the recipient of an Easton Recreational Basketball League Scholarship a National Honor Society Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Basketball Boosters Scholarship, an Oaks Ames Memorial Scholarship, and a Cross Country Boosters Scholarship. Our final recipients tonight for the Oliver Ames Tiger Scholarship are Liam Jennings for Perseverance Over Adversity, Anna Fockery for her extracurricular endeavors, and Tate Hadges for her athletic accomplishments. Liam, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth, is also the recipient of an Easton Youth Baseball League Scholarship and a Business and Technology Department Book Award. Anna, who will be attending Providence College, is also the recipient of a National Honor Society Scholarship and an Art Department Book Award. Tate, who will be attending the College of the Holy Cross, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Basketball Boosters Scholarship and the Sue Rivard Award for Most Outstanding Female Athlete. The First Lieutenant Brian M. McPhillips Scholarship is awarded by Detachment 1115 of the Marine Corps League to a graduating senior at Oliver Ames who will be attending an accredited two or four year college, university, or technical school. Preference will be given to the student who has a family member or relative that served or is serving in the Marine Corps or in the Marine Corps Reserve. This year's recipient is Maggie Devlin. Maggie, who will be attending Sacred Heart University, is also the recipient of a VFW Private George F. Schindler Scholarship. Our final recipient tonight of the Larry Par 3 Memorial Scholarship is Anastasia Pavlov. Anastasia, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst, is also the recipient of the Tempo Tri-M Scholarship and the Paula M. Doherty Pachinin Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in memory of Paula Pachinin by her family to a graduating senior. Paula resided in Easton for over 35 years and was a real estate agent at Keller Williams in Easton. She loved to help those in need and frequently provided gifts for others. She found a hobby in photography and would often take walks in Borderland State Park to capture nature behind the lens. 
She often could be found singing along to songs on the radio, and at any given event, she was the first one on the dance floor. If not singing or dancing, she could decorate any room effortlessly. The recipient will have a special interest in love for the arts, music, photography, or design. The Winthrop Ames Scholarship is available to a member of the graduating class who shows promise and ability in creative art and an appreciation of beauty, plus the desire to pursue the future further study of artistic design. This year's recipient is Cormac Ganshert. Cormac, who will be attending Syracuse University, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Swim and Dive Boosters Scholarship, Mrs. Piesco's Looping Scholarship, and an Art Department Book Award. Our final recipients tonight of Mrs. Piesco's Looping Scholarship are Julianne Aviles, who will be attending the University of Rhode Island, Nelson Malone, and Megan O'Leary. Nelson, who will be attending the University of New Hampshire, is also the recipient of an Easton Firefighters Association Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Wrestling Boosters Scholarship, and a Devon Ness Memorial Scholarship. The Devon Ness Wrestling Scholarship is given in memory of Devon, an Oliver Ames student who died suddenly in January 2013. Devon put his heart and soul into wrestling. The team and his teammates, teammates meant everything to him. He was a very outgoing, friendly young man who would do anything for anyone at any time. Applicants must be either an Oliver Ames varsity wrestler or affiliated with the wrestling team. They must be well-rounded and demonstrate an understanding of the importance of family, friends, and community. Nelson is also the recipient of an Ed Pamela scholarship. This memorial scholarship is given in memory of Ed Pamela by his family and friends. The Pamelas have been an active wrestling family for over 40 years. The recipient will be a graduating senior who has participated in the OA wrestling program and has been accepted at an institute of higher learning. The applicant should embody the strength of character, leadership, dedication, and growth that wrestling inspires. Finally, Nelson is also the recipient of an Easton Cable Access Television Scholarship. The mission of Easton Community Access Television is to develop and produce educational, cultural, and informational community program for the town of Easton. It also provides an electronic forum for the free exchange of information and ideas which reflect the talents, interests, concerns, and diversity of Easton residents. This scholarship is open to any graduating Oliver Ames student who has demonstrated a sustained record of participation at ECAT. Megan, who will be attending Bridgewater State University, is also the recipient of the Sandra L. Harrington Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given by Sandy Harrington's numerous friends and family members to honor her for many years of hard work and dedication to the Easton Public School System. Having worked with elementary age students at both Center School and NEG for nearly 30 years, Sandy formed many long-lasting friendships and influenced the lives of many children and adults alike. She enjoyed her job tremendously right up until January 2007 when health issues forced her to retire sooner than she had planned. Though Sandy is and will continue to be missed by many, it is hoped that this scholarship will allow her to pass the torch to someone who exhibits the same strong work ethic and outgoing personality that she possessed. Our final recipient tonight of a David P. Bowman Memorial Scholarship is Cameron Perrin. Cameron, who will be attending Providence College, is also the recipient of an Easton Youth Baseball League Scholarship, a Northeastern Savings Bank Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Baseball Boosters Scholarship, and of an Oliver Ames Football Boosters Scholarship. Before I announce the next speaker, I would just like to express my congratulations once again. Times like this, when they are challenging, I hope you reflect on these words and reflect on the fact that not only do your parents and your school system and your administrators care for you very deeply, but others also see the light that you shine in the world. We thank you for that and wish you the very best in the future. Finally, I would just like to thank the amazing guidance department at Oliver Ames High School. They put a tremendous amount of work into this production every year, and you can see that even in the toughest of circumstances, 
they make it happen for you. So I want to thank them for this seamless transition, but also the wonderful job they do every year in preparing this for you. Our next speaker is Nancy DeLuca, who's the chair of the Easton School Committee. Congratulations. Good evening. I am Nancy DeLuca, former OA graduate and currently chairperson of the Easton School Committee. My fellow committee members and I are very proud of you and all you have accomplished. <clears throat> the Alfred A. Belmonte Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a graduating Oliver Ames High School senior who plans to major in criminal justice. The applicant must explain reasons for wanting to pursue a career in this field and what impact they feel they can have on the rising crime rate. This year's recipient, recipient is Joshua Cavanaugh. Joshua will be attending St. Anselm College. Our final recipients tonight of a Devin Ness Memorial Scholarship are Maxim Anderson, Matthew Wilson, who will be attending Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences, and Brian Young. Maxime, who will be attending Worcester Polytechnical Polytechnic Institute is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Football Booster Scholarship and an Oliver Ames Wrestling Booster Scholarship. Brian is also the recipient of an Ed Pamela Memorial Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Football Booster Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Rugby Booster Scholarship, and an Oliver Ames Wrestling Booster Scholarship. Our final recipient tonight of an Ed Pamela Memorial Scholarship is Noah White. Noah will be attending Bridgewater State University. The Robert W. Fleming Memorial Scholarship is given to honor and celebrate the life of Bobby Flem by his family and friends. Had Flem not tragically passed away in December of 2016, he would have been a graduate of the class of 2018. Although Flem did not get to pursue his dream, it would make him happy to know that he was helping someone to achieve their goal. Flem came from a blended family and his family meant the world to him. He always had a smile on his face and was always ready to make those around him laugh. He had a small, tight-knit group of friends who always knew they could count on him for anything they needed. His kindness, loyalty, and dedication to his friends knew no boundaries. He loved nothing more than spending time with his friends playing video games. He had hoped to pursue a career in video game design and computer graphics after he graduated. This year's recipients are Emma Hayes and Sean Tamelio. Sean, who will be attending Bridgewater State University, is also the recipient of a Janice Wheeler Music Scholarship. Emma, who will be attending Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences, is also the recipient of a Jane Anderson Music Scholarship an Easton Firefighters Association Scholarship, a Science Department Book Award, and an Alfred and Martha Gomes Family Scholarship. Our final recipients tonight of an Alfred and Martha Gomes Family Scholarship are Michaela Princiota, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst, and Julia Saro. Julia, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst, is also the recipient of an Oaks Ames Memorial Scholarship and a Cross Country Boosted Scholarship. The Karen Carter Memorial Scholarship is being given in memory of Karen A. Carter by four hour residents of Easton. Karen Carter was a lifelong Easton resident and a graduate of Oliver Ames High School, class of 1972. During a 36-year career, she advanced through various positions at Northeastern Savings Bank, eventually serving as Senior Vice President and Technology Officer. Karen passed away in 2011 after a short battle with cancer. Consideration is given to students who have held a part-time job during the school year and or had an active role in community service projects or volunteer activities. Alexandro Francois, Alexandro will be attending the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth. The mission of the Mark Robert Boucher Memorial Fund is to honor the life, legacy, and passions of Mark Boucher by providing scholarships to college-bound student athletes. 
Mock grew up in Brockton and attended Brockton High School, where he excelled in both academics and athletics. He and his wife, Patty, later moved to Easton, where they raised their children, Kendall and Jake. Mark continued his love for athletics throughout his many years coaching and supporting Easton youth sports. Mark saw the true value athletics afforded him, his children, and those he was fortunate enough to coach. Joy, laughter, character, courage, but most importantly, lifelong friendships. This year's recipient is Nathaniel Simeon. Nathaniel will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst. The Colleen Coyle Green Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of Colleen Coyle Green, who was a kindergarten teacher in the Easton schools. This scholarship will be awarded to an Oliver Ames High School graduating senior who intends to teach, preferably young children. This year's recipient is Hannah Pinio. Hannah, who will be attending Westfield State University, is also the recipient of a Cross Country Booster Scholarship. The Nicholas and Mary DeVillis Memorial Scholarship is established in loving memory of the DeVillis children, George, Christina, and Angela. Nick, a self-employed builder and general contractor, and Mary, an elementary school teacher and ESL instructor, raised their three children in the Easton Public Schools. Nick and Mary also established two family businesses in Easton in 1978 and 1988. This scholarship will be awarded to a graduating senior who demonstrates interest in pursuing elementary education, architecture, design, or engineering fields in college. This year's recipient is Jessa, Jessica Chirigio. Jessica, who will be attending Liberty University, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Stucco Scholarship, a Hazel L. Varela Leadership Award, and an Oliver Ames Swim and Dive Booster Scholarship. Our final recipient tonight of a Jim McKillian Memorial Scholarship is Laura Barati. Lauren, who will be attending Westfield State University, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Swim and Dive Booster Scholarship and a Creative World Children's Learning Center Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior of Oliver Ames High School who plans on pursuing a career in teaching or a related field. Recipients must write an essay on the importance of early childhood education and how they can make a difference in this field. Our final recipients tonight of a Joan Tepper Memorial Scholarship are Samuel Becker, who will be attending the University of Miami, Ryan Burkett, Owen Connor, Kyle Grammer, and Melissa Martins, who will be attending Suffolk University, Aidan Patrick, who will be attending Wentworth Institute of Technology, and Bradley Powers. Ryan, who will be attending the University of New Hampshire, is also the recipient of a Nicholas Anthony Farley Memorial Scholarship, an Easton Recreational Basketball League Scholarship, and an Oliver Ames Basketball Booster Scholarship. Owen, who will be attending the University of Rhode Island, is also the recipient of a Walter and Kathleen Gallagher Scholarship and an Oliver Ames Lacrosse Booster Scholarship. Kyle, who will be attending Northeastern University, is also the recipient of an Oaks Ames Memorial Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Baseball Booster Scholarship, and a Social Studies Department Book Award. Bradley, who will be attending Merrimack College, is also the recipient of an Easton Educators Association Scholarship a Walter and Kathleen Gallagher Scholarship, a Brian J. Prey Memorial Scholarship, and the Richard J. Hollis Memorial Golf Scholarship. This scholarship will be awarded to a member of the Oliver Ames Golf Team in memory of Easton resident Richard J. Hollis. He was an avid golfer and had an outstanding seven hole in ones in his lifetime. Richard enjoyed following his grandchildren who played baseball, football, basketball, and golf in Easton. The Mark E. Peterson Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of Mark Peterson and looks to support a student who exhibits academic determination and diligence. Primary consideration will be given to work ethic and perseverance, not necessarily grade point average and class rank. This year's recipient is Anthony Karagi. Anthony, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Swim and Dive Booster Scholarship. The Patricia E. Gatoskis Memorial Scholarship is given in her memory. 
Patricia Gutowskis was a sixth grade teacher in Easton for 35 years. This scholarship will be awarded to a graduating senior who attended Richardson Olmsted School and Easton Middle School. To be considered for this scholarship, applicants wrote an essay on the topic, how the Easton Public Schools have prepared me for higher education. This year's recipient is Alexander McDonald. Alexander will be attending Worcester Polytechnic Institute. The Lisa Vinicor Memorial Scholarship is in honor of Lisa Ray Vinicor, who passed away in February 2016 after a very brave and hard fought five year battle with cancer. Lisa's children were the center of her universe and she particularly loved watching Lily participate in any chorus, show choir, and or theatrical musical production at the high school. Lisa not only loved the arts and her daughter's participation in them, but would always try to assist the tempo group in any way she could. The Vinicor family as a whole has been honored to have been part of such a wonderful music department at Oliver Ames, and Lisa would be proud that these scholarships are in her name and honor and will be going to students who can be assisted with their education. This year's recipients are Victoria DeFeo Gelman, who will be attending Bridgewater State University, and Peyton Krinsky. Peyton, who will be attending Tufts University, is also the recipient of an Oaks Ames Memorial Scholarship, a Music Department Scholarship, and a World Languages Department Book Award for Spanish. Here to present the next series of scholarships is Guidance Director Susan Mancuso. Good evening. Our final recipients tonight of a Brian J. Prey Memorial Scholarship are Ryan Gottwald, Margaret McGrath, who will be attending Bridgewater State University, and Katie Myers, who will be attending Curry College. Ryan, who will be attending Worcester Polytechnic Institute, is also the recipient of an Easton Youth Baseball League Scholarship, a Walter and Kathleen Gallagher Scholarship, and an Oliver Ames Lacrosse Booster Scholarship. Our final recipient tonight of a Walter and Kathleen Gallagher Scholarship is Duncan Pereira. Duncan will be atten attending Montana State University. The Mark Petrucci Memorial Scholarship is given in his memory by his family. Mark grew up in Easton and even after moving to Mansfield, kept his love of the town through his work at Pine Oaks Golf Course. The kindest man you would meet, he believed in helping when he could and being a friend to everyone he met. He was devoted to his family and had a strong commitment to supporting the community. This scholarship is not grade-based, but rather dependent on having some of the qualities that Mark possessed, a kind heart, a generous nature, and the desire to do the right thing. This year's recipient is Luke Peretti. Luke will be attending the University of San Francisco. The Oliver Ames Academic Scholarship is awarded to a member of the graduating class who intends to further his or her education and has maintained a B, overall B or better average, including 10 or more honors courses during their high school, high school career. This year's recipient is Olivia Sato. Olivia, who will be attending Northeastern University, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Stucco Scholarship, an E.R. Laird Memorial Scholarship, a Tempo Scholarship, a Hazel L. Varela Leadership Award, and a Frank B. Randall Scholarship. Olivia is also a National Merit Scholarship recipient. Additional recipients of a Frank B. Randall Scholarship are Olivia Pierce and Kayla Hudson. Olivia, who will be attending the University of Texas, Austin, is also the recipient of an Easton Historical Society and Museum Scholarship and is a National Merit Scholarship recipient. Kayla, who will be attending Northeastern University, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Swim and Dive Booster Scholarship, a Math Department Achievement Award, and a Science Department Book Award. Our final recipient tonight of a Creative World Children's Learning Center Scholarship is Douglas Dyke. Douglas is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Robotics Booster Scholarship. The Joyce Shores Memorial Scholarship was created to honor the spirit of giving. Joyce was a kind, selfless student who went out of her way to make everyone feel accepted and loved. She was passionate about helping others. She was a hard worker and a fun-loving spirit, and she enjoyed playing softball for Oliver Ames High School. This scholarship will be awarded to a member of the girls' OA softball team who is active in community service and embodies this spirit. 
This year's recipient is Sophia D'Amato. Sophia is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Softball Booster Scholarship and an Easton Garden Club Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to students who plan to study landscape design, conservation, horticulture, environmental science, agriculture, or a field related to environmental concerns. Another recipient tonight of an Oliver Ames Softball Booster Scholarship is Caitlin Abreu. Caitlin will be attending Bridgewater State University. The Mary Ann Nyquist Memorial Scholarship is established in the loving memory of Mary Ann Nyquist. Mary Ann lived in Easton since 1974, raising her family and contributing to the community throughout her years in town. Most importantly, Mary Ann was an amazing self-taught artist, specializing in watercolor, acrylic, and oil painting, and in recent years, the technique of colored pencils. She was an avid supporter of both the art and music programs at Oliver Ames High School during her children's time here. Marianne's creativity and generosity were well known amongst her family and friends. This scholarship will be awarded to a student who has shown strength of character, involvement in his or her community, and is pursuing an education in the arts. Tonight's recipient is Joseph Looney. Joseph, who will be attending the University of Vermont, is also the recipient of an Easton Garden Club Scholarship, a cross-country booster scholarship, and an Art Department Book Award. The Hatch Family Scholarships are generously funded by GZA Geo Environmental Inc. in honor of Susan and Bill Hatch. Susan retired in 2019 from teaching English and advising the Gender Sexuality Alliance at Oliver Ames. Bill retired as CEO of GZA after a 40 year career with the company. Tonight's recipients are Lovedean Compare, who will be attending Liberty University, and Allison Widdop. Allison, who will be attending Wentworth Institute of Technology, is also the recipient of a Moreau Hall Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Stucco Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Football Cheer Scholarship, an Easton Tigers Youth Football and Cheer Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Lacrosse Booster Scholarship, and an Easton Educators Association Scholarship. The P.A. Narsacian Scholarship is given by P.A. Narsacian Landscaping, a local and experienced company looking to provide a scholarship to a graduating senior. This year's recipients are Elizabeth Pirandini, who will be attending Regis College, and Kara Lustig. Kara, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Football Cheer Scholarship. Our final recipient tonight of a Scoreboard Enterprises Scholarship is Owen Napati. Owen, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst, is also the recipient of a cross-country booster scholarship. The Tempo Youth Composer Scholarship was started by an Oliver Ames student for his senior year project. His passion for music composition has carried over to his undergraduate studies, and he wants to share his enthusiasm with others. This year's recipient is Asher Thomas. Asher will be attending the Berkeley College of Music. The final recipient of a Tempo Scholarship is Emily Eaton. Emily, who will be attending Merrimack College, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Music Department Scholarship. Our final recipient tonight of a Moreau Hall Scholarship is Marcus Fan. Marcus, who will be attending Fitchburg State University, is also the recipient of an Easton Community Access Te Television Scholarship. Our final recipient tonight of a Michael F. McGuire Memorial Scholarship is Brianna Costa. Brianna, who will be attending Massasoit Community College, is also the recipient of an Easton Police Association Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to graduating seniors who have demonstrated qualities of patriotism, civic consciousness, leadership, dependability, and being a person with high moral principle. The Honeydew Donut Scholarship is awarded to a student who is attending a four-year college, maintained a B average or better in high school, and participates in local community charitable activities. This year's recipient is Alyssa Callender. Alyssa will be attending Emanuel College. The Oliver Ames Class of 1969 50th Reunion Scholarship is given by the Class of 1969 to an Oliver Ames graduate continuing their education in a post-high school secondary education program. In awarding this scholarship, two factors will be given preferential consideration, namely, a student who would be a first-generation person attending a post-education level program, and a student with a family connection to the class of 1969. This year's recipient is Joyce Celestino. Joyce will be attending Massasoit Community College. 
Additional recipients tonight of an Olive Rames Music Department Scholarship are Anthony DeFeo Gelman and Margaret Rolt. Anthony will be attending Berkeley College of Music and Margaret will be attending Curry College. An additional recipient tonight of an Oliver Ames Wrestling Booster Scholarship is Noah White, who will be attending Bridgewater State University. An additional recipient tonight of an Oliver Ames Swim and Dive Booster Scholarship is Hannah Melnick. Hannah, who will be attending Bentley University, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Football Cheer Booster Scholarship. Tonight's final recipients of an Easton Police Association Scholarship are Sarah Thiel, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts, Boston, and Ava Lerman. Ava, who will be attending the University of Rhode Island, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Cross Country Booster Scholarship. Additional recipients of an Oliver Ames Stuco Scholarship are David Fiorzik and Angela Ma. David, who will be attending the University of Rhode Island, is also the recipient of an Oaks Ames Memorial Scholarship, a National Honor Society Scholarship, and a Cross Country Booster Scholarship. Angela, who will be attending New York University, is also the recipient of an Oaks Ames Memorial Scholarship. An additional recipient tonight of an Oliver Ames Track and Field Booster Scholarship is Madison Perry. Madison will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Our final recipients tonight of an Oaks Ames Memorial Scholarship are Harrison Hearn, Allison Barth, Diana Binney, Nicholas Boudreau, Ryan Connolly, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst, Maura Kiernan, Chi Lee, who will be attending Boston University, and Nicholas Williams. Harrison, who will be attending Tufts University, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Soccer Booster Scholarship and an Oliver Ames Rugby Booster Scholarship. Allison, who will be attending the University of Connecticut, is also the recipient of a National Honor Society Scholarship and an Oliver Ames Volleyball Booster Scholarship. Diana, who will be attending Worcester Polytechnic Institute, is also the recipient of a cross-country booster scholarship. Nicholas, who will be attending Tufts University, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Baseball Booster Scholarship. Maura, who will be attending Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Field Hockey Booster Scholarship. Nicholas, who will be attending American University, is also the recipient of an Easton Historical Society and Museum Scholarship and a World Language Department Book Award for French. An additional recipient for a World Language Department Book Award in Latin is Jackson Del Rosario. Jackson, who will be attending the University of Arizona, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Baseball Booster Scholarship. Another recipient tonight of an Easton Historical Society and Museum Scholarship is Brianna Chevalier. Brianna, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst, is also the recipient of the Louise Vos Memorial Music Award, an E.R. Laird Memorial Scholarship, and a Family and Consumer Science Department Book Award. Additional recipients tonight of an Easton Garden Club Scholarship are Caitlin Roney, who will be attending the University of Vermont, and Gianna Brandolini. Gianna, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Boston, is also the recipient of the Easton Grange 196 Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a graduate who is pursuing education in the field of agriculture, environmental sciences, culinary arts, or biology and related areas. The Business Department would like to present the Business and Technology Book Award to Zachariah Lerman. Zachariah will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst. The Business Department would like to present the Business and Consumer Science Book Award to Audrey Jones. Audrey, who will be attending Bryant University, is also the recipient of the English Department's Erica Fold and Jesse Hannah Walt Award. The English Department would also like to present the Charlene Howarth Award to Olivia White. Olivia will be attending Bridgewater State University. The Industrial Arts Department would like to present the Industrial Arts Book Award to Alexander Rhodes. Alexander will be attending the University of Massachusetts Lowell. The Social Studies Department would like to present additional Social Studies Book Awards to Nicholas Peltzman, who will be attending Bridgewater State University, Christian Tropiano, who will be attending the University of Rhode Island, and Jessica Verde. Jessica, who will be attending Johnson & Wales University, is also the recipient of the Family and Consumer Science Book Award. 
Additional recipients tonight of an Easton Recreational Basketball League Scholarship are Ryan Hillard, who will be attending Union College, Jason Persio, Edward Quirzoli, and Jay Spillane. Jason, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Lowell, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Basketball Booster Scholarship. Edward, who will be attending the University of Connecticut, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Baseball Booster Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Cross Country Booster Scholarship, the Edward L. Rawlinson Award, and the Eastern Youth Baseball League Marty Weiner Scholarship. Jay, who will be attending Quinnipiac University, is also the recipient of an Eastern Educators Association Scholarship, an Eastern Youth Baseball League Scholarship, an Oliver Ames Baseball Booster Scholarship, and an Oliver Ames Basketball Booster Scholarship. Final recipients tonight of an Oliver Ames Cross Country Booster Scholarship are Haley Braga, who will be attending James Madison University, Abby Buccio, who will be attending Framingham State University, Erica Meckler, and Jonathan Montgomery. Erica, who will be attending the University of Rhode Island, is also the recipient of an Art Department Book Award. Jonathan, who will be attending Wentworth Institute of Technology, is also the recipient of an Easton Educators Association Scholarship. Additional recipients tonight of an Oliver Ames Baseball Booster Scholarship are Jacob Levine, Nicholas Marks, and Kyle O'Connor. Jacob, who will be attending Oswego University, is also the recipient of an Easton Youth Baseball League Scholarship. Nicholas, who will be attending the University of Rhode Island, is also the recipient of an Easton Youth Baseball League Scholarship. Kyle, who will be attending Quinnip Quinnipiac University, is also the recipient of an Easton Youth Baseball League Scholarship. Additional recipients tonight of an Easton Youth Baseball League Scholarship are Tyler Campbell and Justin Shapiro, who will be attending Indiana University. Tyler, who will be attending Plymouth State University, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Football Booster Scholarship. Additional recipients tonight of an Oliver Ames Basketball Booster Scholarship are Adam Kahn, Owen Friel, who will be attending Merrimack College, and Tony Hall Williamson. Adam, who will be attending Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Football Booster Scholarship. Tony, who will be attending the University of New Haven, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Football Cheer Booster Scholarship. Our final recipients of the evening for an Oliver Ames Field Hockey Booster Scholarship are Charlotte Finnerty, who will be attending Fairfield University, Cassandra Jenis, and Elizabeth Waters. Cassandra, who will be attending Providence College, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Lacrosse Booster Scholarship. Elizabeth, who will be attending Quinnipiac University, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Lacrosse Booster Scholarship. Additional recipients tonight of an Oliver Ames Lacrosse Booster Scholarship are Olivia Carroll, Samantha Cathy, who will be attending the University of Rochester, Aaron Donovan, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth, Abigail Evan, Nicholas Gillis, Frank Ireland, Shane Kilkelly, Riley McNeely, and Joshua O'Rourke, who will be attending Plymouth State University. Olivia, who will be attending the University of Maryland, is also the recipient of a National Honor Society Scholarship and an Oliver Ames Soccer Booster Scholarship. Abigail is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Soccer Booster Scholarship. Nicholas, who will be attending the University of Rhode Island, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Football Booster Scholarship. Shane, who will be attending the Kimball Union Academy, is also the recipient of the Valentine Moscato Award for Most Outstanding Male Athlete. Riley, who will be attending Plymouth State University, is also the recipient of an Oliver Ames Volleyball Booster Scholarship. Final recipients tonight of an Oliver Ames Football Booster Scholarship are Griffin Campbell, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Boston, and Harrison Webster, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Final recipients tonight of an Oliver Ames Soccer Booster Scholarship are Jonathan Freeman, who will be attending the University of Rhode Island, and Leah Johnson, who will be attending East Carolina University. Additional recipients tonight of an Oliver Ames Volleyball Booster Scholarship are Mary Davenport, who will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst, Allison Kemp, who will be attending Providence College, and Jordan Vela, who will be attending Merrimack College. 
The Presidential Outstanding Academic Achievement Awards are awards conferred by President Trump upon high school seniors who meet and exceed challenging academic levels. In his letter to this school, he stated, Mrs. Trump and I are pleased to congratulate you on receiving the 2020 President's Education Award. It is a privilege to join your family, friends, school, and community in celebrating your wonderful achievement. 54 members of the class have met the established criteria. Harrison Ahern, Maxime Anderson, Stephanie Badron, Sarah Barron, Allison Barth, Samuel Becker, Diana Binney, Jordan Bossy, Nicholas Bedreau, Olivia Carroll, Brianna Chevalier, Ryan Connolly, Hunter Costello, Emily Eaton, David Fjorzik, Morgan Foltz, Grace Gaultier, Kyle Gramer, Emma Hayes, Ryan Hilliard, Megan Holleran, Abigail Holmes, Kayla Hudson, Allison Kemp, Maura Kiernan, Zachary Kramer, Peyton Krinsky, Zachariah Lerman, Chi Lee, Joseph Looney, Kara Lustig, Angela Ma, Alexander McDonald, Alexander Manthaus, Melissa Martins, Erica Meckler, Hannah Melnick, Matthew Noselik, Anastasia Pavlov, Madeline Peckham, Ryan Petrillo, Olivia Pierce, Edward Quirzoli, Jessica Roa, Lila Rose, Teresa Sade, Julia Saro, Olivia Sato, Brendan Shanahan, Nathaniel Simeon, Samuel Stevens, Andrew Waldorf, Nicholas Williams, and Alexandra Zies. Congratulations to all of our, our recipients tonight. Your scholarship packets will be delivered to your homes tomorrow afternoon by a faculty member. If you have any questions, please contact the guidance office. And we wanna congratulate all members of the class of 2020 and best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. A teacher's influence in a student's life is a unique and tangible connection that extends far beyond time spent in a classroom. At Oliver Ames, our teachers are far more than educators. They are friends, role models, and inspirations to students. The class of 2020 has elected to dedicate our yearbook to three beloved educators that are retiring this year. Mrs. Schleicher, Mrs. Porter Meglio, and Mr. Sullivan. In addition, the class would like to extend a special dedication to the essential workers within the Oliver Ames and Easton community, as well as to those who have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Mrs. Schleicher, famous for her humor, blue eyeshadow, and companionship, Mrs. Schleicher has been teaching at OA since the 1985-1986 school year. With the intent of becoming a biology teacher, Mrs. Schleicher accepted an interim position in the chemistry department. However, she ended up loving teaching chemistry so much that she kept the position for 35 years. Mrs. Schleicher's dedication to her community extends far beyond the role of an educator, as she has served as a leader and a mentor as well. She has advised three graduating classes at OA, the class of 1990, the class of 1993, and she co-advised the class of 2005 with Mrs. Curtin. Moreover, Mrs. Schleicher is very often one of the first teachers to arrive in, in the morning and one of the last to leave at night. Her commitment to her students and teaching is exceedingly apparent and the OA community has benefited greatly from her presence as an educator and as a friend. One student admired, she is genuinely so caring about each individual student and manages to make such a hard subject understandable and funny. Mrs. Schleicher's passion for teaching and commitment to her students is tangible and undeniable, and her remarkable charisma will be greatly missed by the Oliver Ames community. Mrs. Porter Meglio. Mrs. Porter Meglio began her career in Easton in 1994 at the former Easton Junior High School. In 2000, she came to Oliver Ames, where she quickly became a crowd favorite. Famous for her honesty with students, she has maintained high standards and expectations throughout her career. Ever since she began teaching, 
Mrs. Porter Meglio has been known to cultivate active and involved students, both inside and outside of the classroom. Coming down the math hallway, students could be heard saying, hey, Miss Porta, where she always greeted them with a smile or a high five. In fact, one of Mrs. Porter Meglio's students remarked, she always managed to brighten my day with her hellos in the hallway. Mrs. Porter Meglio has been an integral member of our school community, serving as an advisor of various clubs and organizations, including the math team and the resident senior kindness club. She has also served as a chaperone to numerous dances and student events, and has been a consistent participant in OA faculty feud. She has iconically judged for multiple student sponsored events and has been a powerful representative for the Easton Educators Association. Her students could always count on her support in the classrooms, on the courts, on the fields, and on the stage. Mrs. Porter Meglio's larger than life and warming personality will be sorely missed by the community. Mr. Sullivan. Mr. Sullivan has been at Oliver Ames since 1998 and has since made countless contributions to the OA community. When the old OA building was falling apart, you could always count on Mr. Sullivan to be there to fix any problem. Mr. Sullivan's crafty brilliance and dedication to our school can be seen in a myriad of places, from the annual graduation stage to new bookcases for classrooms, and even the dividers in the boys' restrooms. He is responsible for the partitions in classrooms, as well as the repaired science tables in our labs. Mr. Sullivan and his students made numerous bookshelves for faculty members, as well as Adirondack chairs. Early in his career, he started a modified wood program for Project Opportunity, which has since evolved into Best Buddies. In 2007, Mr. Sullivan became the head of the Industrial Arts Department. He taught woodworking, architectural design, and construction. He also advised the Architectural and Engineering Society, which he established with his students. Beyond his influence in the Industrial Arts Department, Mr. Sullivan coached ice hockey and freshman baseball from 2002 to 2013. He even brought a few hockey teams to the South Sectionals. His extraordinary abilities in leadership and championing group camaraderie permitted his students to flourish. Mr. Sullivan's contributions to our school are diverse and abundant, and we are exceedingly grateful for him. His universal handiness, notable leadership, and friendly smile will be dearly missed at Oliver Ames. Essential workers and those affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. The class of 2020 would be remiss if we did not take the time to extend the dedication of our yearbook to the essential workers who have kept our community safe during this unprecedented time. From our fellow classmates who work in nursing homes and grocery stores, to the parents and adults in our community who are healthcare professionals that daily jeopardize their lives, the class of 2020 thanks you. Lately, a lot of attention has been drawn to graduating classes across the country that have been forced to sacrifice the highlights of their senior year. And while we have lamented lost moments with our friends and teachers, we are exceedingly grateful for such a strong and powerful team of essential workers that have kept us safe. So to the healthcare professionals and essential workers in our community, your sacrifices have not been made in vain. Thank you for all you have done. Every morning from the first day of middle school to the last day of senior year, we were told to make our mark. We've done this and more. We found ourselves together by coincidence. We just shared the same town and schools, but in overlapping our independent lives with each other for eight hours every day, we came together as a community. This part was no coincidence. The class of 2020 is a community because of the active choices we make every day to be kind and generous to each other. Members of the class seek to help one another, whether it's showing support in our awesome fan sections, offering rides, or even surprising our friends during their quarantine birthdays, from a safe social distance, of course. As we prepare to move on from Oliver Ames, let us focus the spirit of sharing outward to future graduating classes, as it is needed now more than ever. In celebration of our four years as dedicated students and school spirit leaders, we will be gifting one scholarship per year for the next four years in the amount of $500 each. To be eligible, applicants must be non-officer participants in the executive board. We gift this as a reminder of the value of every student's contribution to their class and to encourage future classes school spirit. 
The class of 2020's legacy of excellence and encouragement will live on through the scholarships, financial support of all of Rames' students' continued academic careers. At this time, I would like to welcome the other class officers and our class advisors to the stage. The class of 2020 would like to express our gratitude to our two class advisors, Mrs. Hines and Ms. McLaughlin. Over the past four years, our advisors have given us the freedom to make Executive Board a product of our own efforts while also providing essential guidance along the way. Mrs. Hines, our relationship began when you were my English teacher freshman and sophomore year. I feel that I can speak for all of my peers when I say that your passion for helping students and encouraging new perspectives shines across all avenues. In Executive Board, you exuded patience and always provided necessary guidance, even when it felt like arguments on movie night fundraisers would never end. The class so deeply appreciates your selfless dedication of time and resources to our countless projects. The class also deeply apologizes for leaving cheese balls and rogue skis in your classroom long after they are welcome. We got to be with you as you became a mother, and you got to be with us through stressful classes, college applications, and so many bake sales. So for that, we thank you. Ms. McLaughlin, thank you for giving us some semblance of sanity through it all. Over these four years, you've consistently acted as a wonderful sounding board, and your hilarious relatability can brighten anyone's day. Thank you for sticking with us through the sudsy car wash days and the rainy election day bake sales, through the incredibly profitable t-shirt fundraiser, and our many attempts to empty the never-ending box of phone wallets. You made us laugh when it was hard and celebrate when we succeeded. So thank you for brightening our high school experience. Now, if we have learned anything from Hall Day and class events, we have learned the ultimate power of Amazon. And an homage to our many ridiculous Amazon purchases at eBoard, and with a genuine practical spirit necessitated by current times, we are gifting each of you an Amazon gift card. Also, as a small memento of us, we are giving each of you a copy of the children's book, Because I Had a Teacher by Kobe Yamada. This book may not have the typical detail of your Romeo and Juliet or A Raisin in the Sun, but we wanted to show you how deeply your efforts are appreciated. We've written little messages throughout, annotations, if you will. Thank you so much for all you have done. Thank you. I'm not sure whose book is Okay. It says your name on the inside, but I'm hugging you in spirit. This evening, it is my honor to carry on an Eastern tradition that has existed for generations. The tool was an essential part in building the town of Easton and our great nation. Easton has thrived and prospered over the past 200 years, and its origins were in the Ames Shovel Company, which produced the shovels that helped build and expand America. Over the years, Easton has been the beneficiary of the generosity of the Ames family. In Easton, we honor our past by passing the shovel from the Oliver Ames High School Senior Class President to the Junior Class President. Thus, the passing of the shovel serves as a potent symbol of perseverance, hard work, ingenuity, and innovation, making it the perfect item for the 2020 Oliver Ames seniors to pass on to the class of 2021. As the class of 2020 embarks on journeys beyond Easton, we are honored to be able to sustain the tradition of, the, of passing on the symbolic shovel. As our graduation approaches, we honor the past as we look to our futures. The shovel symbolizes each of us breaking new ground and pursuing our goals using all the tools and skills we learned at Oliver Ames. I am sure the class of 2020 will go on to great achievements and make valuable contributions to our society with these skills. I am now honored to recognize the tradition and history of the passing of the shovel. As president of the Oliver Ames class of 2020, I, Nicholas Allen, on behalf of all my fellow classmates, present the shovel to you, Matt Nikichik, president of the Oliver Ames class of 2020, one, with all the history, honors, and obligations that come with it.
It is with true gratitude and honor that I, Matt Nikichik, president of the class of 2021, accept the shovel tonight. By doing so, I anticipate that the All of Our Aims class of 2021 will maintain the successful traditions and rich academic history that former classes have established. As a leader of the junior class, I speak for all of next year's senior class when I say how honored we are to be a part of this prestigious tradition of this shovel, which is so rich in symbolism.